Hi ladies, it's Amber Shaw. Um, this is a video on how to create your first unique party and your GoDaddy domain and then forward those together. So, you're going to log into your website. You go to uniqueproducts.com and uh, sign in with your username and password or your Facebook account. And then you're going to click on My Parties up on the top left hand uh, area here. So click My Parties. Click here to start your party. It's a very straightforward process. Now you're gonna click for this, you're gonna host, you're gonna say, I will host this party. If you're having a hostess do the party for you, you're gonna do customer or friend, and you're gonna fill out their details here. Um, for this demo, we're gonna be hosting the party ourselves because this is going to uh, act as our launch party, and we wanna earn the points on that. You want to make sure that you have every order placed through an active party link so that you can earn free makeup as well as earning your commission. Um, okay, so I will host this party. You just click on your theme, customize this party. Um, let's rename it to Amber's Launch Party. Then you can just uh, change the party message or you can keep it the same. Click Save My Party. And your party is ready to go. So, you see Party Link here. You want to click that and it's going to bring you to your main party page. Now, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the party performance dashboard. Now, like I said a moment ago, it's really important that every order that goes through your site is um, attached to a party. If it's not attached to a party, you won't be earning points and you won't be, you won't be earning free makeup. So, every 10 days, all parties last 10 days on the website, you're going to re-forward um, your party website through your domain on GoDaddy. So keep this tab open and go into another tab. You're going to go to GoDaddy.com and you're going to type in find your perfect domain name. So let's just say we're going to call it TeamLashQueen.com. Mine is Amber C. Shaw. I usually recommend that people use their names because it's uh, easy to remember for other people. And that's the most important thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so you're going to click search domain. Okay, so teamlashqueen.com is available. So we are going to click select. And then continue to cart. Just skip these things. No thanks, no thanks. Continue to cart. They're just trying to upsell you. You don't need that stuff. Continue to cart. Okay, so you want to click this little drop down box here and change it to one year. And the total will be $11.99. Now you're going to go into another tab and type in GoDaddy promo code. And click the Retail Me Not, uh, the 93% off coupon codes. It's going to give you a coupon for a 99 cent domain. So you're just going to copy this promo code and uh, put it in right here. Oh, that didn't work. Didn't copy it. Try that again. Okay, so 
On me, it didn't work because I already have an account. But for you, it's going to drop it down to 99 cents. And, and then you're going to proceed to checkout. Um, you're going to create an account. Remember your username and password. Get that all set up. Finish with your personal information. And then this is important. You want to close out the GoDaddy screen. You want to um, go into your web or your email. Sorry, your email account that you associated with your GoDaddy um, domain, and you're going to verify your email address. After that is done, you want to open GoDaddy up again. Now, this time you're going to sign in. So I'm going to sign in here with my own credentials. And yours will look a little bit different because it'll be your first time um, forwarding your domain. So it's going to say something like, you have a domain, do you want to put it to use? And it's going to be in this area. Um, but the most important thing you're looking for is the domain. So you're going to click manage or yes, put it to use. And manage connection. And then you go back to that unique site that you had open. You're going to copy that web address right there. And go back to GoDaddy here. And you're going to paste it in this area here. Okay? So this is just, it's a new party number. Every 10 days you're going to do this when your party closes. Click Edit. Okay, edit. I'm clicking cancel because I'm not actually changing this. And then you'd click save. Now, when you go to your domain that you created, it's going to bring you right to your party page. And that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, it's pretty simple, and like I said, when your party closes out after 10 days, you're going to go back in and you're going to uh, redo that process every 10 days.